Well, 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 this is really interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a rumor. We're going to talk about the rumor that Hawkeye has been quietly canceled. Or Disney delayed indefinitely. Delayed indefinitely. And, and maybe some reasons as to why it's been delayed in depth that's a that's another way that, that's another one of theirs like their creative differences this is delayed indefinitely it's not canceled it's delayed indefinitely and this might explain a lot of the shuffling going on right now at disney plus and in the mcu mm -hmm. so before we talk about that we're going to introduce ourselves this is neon i'm here with geeky sparkles hello this is clownfish tv we talk about pop culture give our hot takes on it and we're at almost eighty nine thousand subs hoping for a hundred thousand soon yay Thank you for that. We're going to talk about Hawkeye. Uh, you know, Hawkeye with Jeremy Renner. Apparently, maybe, possibly, maybe, because this is a rumor. People are always like, you're yeah, wrong. This is That's a rumor. What rumor means. Rumor Disney Plus's Hawkeye series has been delayed indefinitely. The new rumor uh, claims that Hawkeye, which was expected to start filming this summer, has been delayed indefinitely. Claim comes from Murphy's Multiverse which has provided reliable information related to the MCU in the past. I thought all those other places were just full of lies and, and it's always untrue unless it relates to what they want to talk about. That is true. Um, that is true. According to the outlet, Hawkeye has been removed from Marvel Studios' production schedule for 2020. Well, this kind of does make sense, though. If they, when they explain why it's removed, it kind of goes along with some other stuff I was, I was hearing. So instead of Hawkeye, Marvel Studios is said to have slated Ms. Marvel instead because everybody's yeah. clamoring for that one. And this ties into a few days ago, which I, I saw because I covered Disney news, um, that they that there was a big announcement that they got Ms. Marvel and they, they cast her and they know who it is, but they're not saying who this person is supposed to be, but they cast Ms. Marvel. So uh, now they're pushing this to the front. So it kind of does go along with the news we're hearing um, and other sources about how they had, a, they had an actress cast and all that. It kind of does play into all that. Yeah, so they're really pushing uh, Ms. Marvel. Just Vox the other day. Vox had an article on Ms. Marvel becoming Marvel's most important superhero Based of the decade. What? Based on Vox's opinion. Even though the comics aren't really selling as well as they used to. They were for a while. The graphic novels were selling. But I think I think this is going to be a backdoor for Carol. Why uh, is she supposed to be the most, oh, the most important? Not the most the, powerful. The oh, most important. Most important. She's the most important. So the hype machine is already starting. We have to talk about how amazing uh -huh. Ms. Marvel is. Which low lends credence to this rumor then because they are just as last few days um, on the Disney news chatter because like I said, I have the, the Pirates and Princesses blog and I look for the news every day and this is something that I've noticed an uptick. There's been a lot of Ms. Marvel news lately. They've mm -hmm. been pushing stories related to it and then we saw this today with the rumor. Um, this kind of actually in my, from where I'm sitting makes it seem a little more believable because uh, if you you know the other stuff going around at the same time it yeah kind of does line up with what what this rumor is saying yeah so it says the outlet that uh, reported this is murphy's multiverse uh uh notes that it doesn't mean hawkeye won't get made eventually eventually as of right now the information is unconfirmed and right it's, unco it's not a, it's just a rumor but it really goes along with some stuff i've been hearing well they pushed up wandavision right you know uh they pushed wandavision up we're seeing all kinds of shuffles with phase four right now yeah we did talk about dr strange losing the director we don't know what that's going to mean for dr strange but it does seem like there's a bit of a i don't want to say panic but there's definitely some changes some shuffling going on yeah. over at marvel because i don't think they really know what to do with marvel after endgame and i think mm -hmm. they're trying to stack the deck they're not making the right decisions, I think, about no. the audiences. They're going to need things that line up with what audiences know. What they're trying to do is they're trying to make shows these other characters so they can then turn around. And then, uh, you know, because I knew they were doing the Moon Knight and then they talk about She-Hulk. Um, so they're just basically trying to, to shoehorn these in here. I think they're trying to get them more well-known so they can turn them into movies and bring them in and let, you know, make it more diverse MCU. Yeah, but the smart money would have been, now they do have WandaVision coming and they do have uh, Falcon, the Winter Soldier, but the smart money would have been to take the existing Avengers, you know, and push them first because that's what everybody knows. Or, you know, push them and then put these new characters into those first and then give them so people know who they are. Yeah. I mean, I think, I guess they're thinking if they do it for the, the Disney Plus first, this is a TV show, so it's not as much, even though they're investing as much in these shows as they're doing in movies, I just think it's not as much of a risk in their eyes. I don't know. Yeah, so, um, they said, yeah, they said Marvel Studios is said to have slayed Ms. Marvel to begin production in April. So, they're going to, 
you know, fast forward uh, to Miss Marvel. They're going to plow ahead with Ms. Marvel because she's the most important Marvel character. Uh, obviously, yes. Of the Everybody last knows this, don't you know? <laughs> but there could be something else going on here, too. I just want to bring this up. I want to bring this up uh, because it's worth mentioning that Jeremy Renner is problematic. Yeah, like three months ago. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Could this have something to do with it? Could they be like, yeah, you know, we're not really not really comfortable giving him a show because he's so problematic. And uh, This is according to his ex-wife, right? According to his ex-wife, yeah. The reality is that uh, is darker than fiction according to his ex-wife. Um, apparently he is abusive. Uh, he's abusive. But I thought later this came out that that wasn't true. I could be wrong, but I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know these things, you know, unless you're there, you never yeah, know. Yeah, it, it is. It's a, he said, she said, yeah. you're not going to know. And that's true. But he's in the, um, encyclopedia problematica. They have an encyclopedia problematica? Yes, they do. I didn't even know this existed. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Renner is problematic. Oh my God. I didn't even know this is a thing. Because he called a fictional female character a slut. A slut. Is that when it was like him and, and, and it was, was that the one with Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, I think it was and, Black and, Widow. Yeah. And it was, um, he wasn't the only one. It was, uh, was it uh, Chris uh, Chris Evans was there too? And he was, they were joking. He was joking about it too. Yeah, and so was Scarlett Johansson. Um, he did that. He did so like a total but her Chad. Her character kind of was, but that's yeah, a whole other story. That's she, like, that a like, oh a like a total God, Chad. Oh my God, this is great. As millions rejoice, although offending millions of women everywhere. Were you offended? I was I not offended her. because quite frankly, it was a running joke because that was what her character did. I mean, she was trained to, to, to be an assassin and that was part of the job. So it was kind of like, you know, even, even Scott Johansson was yucking up about it because she knows that's what her character kind of was doing too. Yeah, so he's 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 problematic because he might be a racist. But I mean, if we're gonna be fair though, uh, Tony Stark, biggest slut in the MCU. Oh yeah, he's a. Total I mean, slut. total. Uh, he is a Chad and a slut. He is both a Chad and a slut. A chut. A slad. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Jeremy Renner apparently used the N word in an interview while defending oh. the actions of his racist uh, character. Like a total chat. I uh, I would never have done that, but that's just me. Choice quotes from an interview about his role as a neo Yahtzee in the movie Again, Ned. As a can, can, wait, wait, wait. So he plays a character in a movie, and now suddenly that makes him that character. Edward Norton then also must be a a, uh, a, a Yahtzee. Okay. Um, but uh, he describes the character as not really a Yahtzee, and a poor twisted soul. If you take it too seriously, you probably shouldn't see the movie. Meaning, if you're going to get so upset about it, you should, and you can't separate reality from fiction, you probably like the Joker. You shouldn't see the movie. Says the movie, which is about an effing Yahtzee falling in love with a black woman. That it's not about racism. To him, it's about people with problems and how they choose to deal with them. He describes this movie as sweet and endearing. Okay, but I, I mean, I didn't see the movie, so I can't say if that's true or not. But I'm just like, he is not the character. You understand that, right? No, they don't. Okay. You don't understand. They don't understand. That's what I'm saying. They don't understand. So apparently he chanted some slurs on the Graham Norton show. With Mark Ruffalo, who they idolize and worship because he's always at these protests. Yeah, and used, the, uh, used a slur for trans people, like a Chad, and he conflates trans people with cross-dressers. How very dare he? He is problematic. Oh my God, this is funny. I never even knew this existed. I gotta see if we're in here. <laughs> I, I was actually wondering it. But I'm like, okay, so I gotta wonder if that, if this isn't, part of the problem him being problematic if that, this isn't part of the reason that they're they're not moving forward with hawkeye because oh my god how very dead. i don't know i just think honestly i think it's more due to the hawkeye being a male i think if it was they were and i think they were trying to get uh what was that girl's name that was in bumblebee um, oh, Haley, uh, Haley uh, whatever. She was actually pretty good. They, they were um, trying to get her to play. Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be Rumor We Talks to play Kate. And she's and, on Apple TV, but nobody's watching. Right. It. Yeah. Um, I think that they, they were trying to get her in there, so it wasn't problematic. They didn't get her in there. So they wouldn't, they're wouldn't. they not going to do it unless it has Kate Bishop and they have a woman in there. To take to, his place. Yes, exactly. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not trying. I mean, I'm a woman. I'm just saying. That's the purpose Knowing of the show. what they were putting out there and not picking up shows because they had a mandate that it had to be female-led shows. And Hawkeye, if they don't have Kate Bishop in there, they're not going to do it. Um, they didn't find someone to play her. And now they're going to replace her with uh, Ms. Marvel. Well, that's a pretty... 
astute observation, and it's called WandaVision, not Vision Wanda. And, and, and you know, there you go. <laughs> well, WandaVision makes more sense with the title. We, we, right. You know. But then here's my other thing. I was over at Ollie's when they had these toys on clearance, and among the toys, besides all the Captain Marvels on clearance, they, they literally couldn't sell. They also had the, those Marvel whatever dolls, and they were like of the characters like America Chavez and, and Ms. Marvel and them. They weren't selling either. Oh, what was it? Marvel Uprising or Marvel Rising? Whatever they were. Marvel. And no one wanted those either. Yeah. Because, well, partly, to be fair, as I don't think people know who these characters are, even though no. they would have known who Captain Marvel was. Yeah. Um, and part of it's because you guys keep pushing this and people just don't want it. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, when you blame it on races and you blame it on whatever, and it could just be as simple as people just don't know the characters very well. But you're also telling people they don't read these books or something wrong with them. Let's let's not forget the most important thing. Uh, Ms. Marvel was, was uh, uh, created, overseen by Sana Aminat. Oh, well, that explains a lot. basically runs Marvel Comics now. So imagine that. So they're going to make, she's going to make sure she gets her character in there. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, it's it's kind of a weird situation. I would think that. I'm more inclined to think because it's a woman than it is anything else. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I just think that's why they're doing it. And, and, you know, it might be a good show. We don't know yet. I just, oh, it might be good. It might be good. I just into the place where I'm just like, they keep... They just keep popping these puppies out of nowhere. You know what I'm popping saying? Popping those puppies. He just like, you seem like it's good. Now all of a sudden here comes this one and this one and this one. And and obviously the MCU's new word of the year is diversity. Which I have nothing, no problem with diversity if it's done organically and it's about good characters who happen to be diverse. No. But that's not how they promote any of it. Diversity, diversity, diversity. Oh, do we mention we're doing this movie because of diversity? Do we mention we're doing this show because of diversity? Hey, we're going to have uh, um, new characters that are this because of diversity. And you know what? That's what people are getting turned off. If you would just say, hey, we're doing this movie, this movie, this movie, this show, this show, this show. And here's why these characters are really great and why you should like them. And it's about their abilities and about the character. People might be more okay with it. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's going to be weird, though. Live action Ms. Marvel, because her powers include making her hands ginormously huge. I know. I know. And I don't know how it's going to work in live action, I got to tell you. I also think it's going to be a backdoor for uh, lots lots more Carol, because uh, she hangs out with Captain Marvel a lot. So I think that... So they're, they're, these people don't like her, they're going to make her like her. Th you're going to be forced to like Ms. Marvel. Yeah, they're going to have a Ms. Marvel. I mean, Marvel's... no, Captain, Captain Oh, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, they're going to team her up with Spider-Man. They're going to team her up with Ms. Marvel. They I have heard about Spider-Man. They have said that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they will. They will make you like Captain Marvel. You will have to like Captain Marvel. Uh, you will not be able to flicker off like uh, Thanos did in Endgame. Just ping, you're gone. You're not gonna let this one go. You have to love her, and if you don't, there's something. They'll, they'll, they'll just turn up even more that about how problematic you are because you don't like this character. You can hate any other character. You can hate Hawkeye, and that's fine. Uh, there's nothing problematic about that. But if you don't like Captain Marvel or Ms. Marvel or you know or She Hulk or whatever, then you are a problem. Because yeah. they're women. There's going to be a lot of problematic Marvel fans with Phase 4, I think. Uh, I think Phase 4 is going to be very polarizing. I'm all excited about Black Widow. Yeah, Black Widow might be okay. But I'm just saying, look, this is a rumor. It could be completely untrue. Um, but what I've been hearing with uh, some announcements of late where they're really pushing the Ms. Marvel thing and that we have an actress and blah, blah, blah. Um, it kind of does all fit with this uh, rumor yeah. of maybe getting pushed back quietly. So... Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Phase four is coming, whether or not you want it. Yep. All right, guys. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.